is uh, Marty Kokish, and welcome back to Marty's Garage. Um, let's see, Keith from Italy um, uh, posted, "Hey Marty, how the, how'd you do the seats? You kind of skipped over that, so yeah, kind of skipped over that. So I'm gonna go back in time real quick and, and show you how I took out the seats. Um, if you want to come over here, uh, there's just." Uh, uh, You've got these uh, spacers underneath the seats. Yours are most likely made out of wood. These are ones, mine are all rotted out and stuff. So uh, uh, my dad actually, we used the old ones as templates. My dad actually made these uh, plastic ones that are uh, similar size, width and everything. And these won't rot and stuff. So um, you can see, uh, uh, there's basically there's four uh, there's four holes here for uh, that screw into. This hole is a little bit big, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that one was not attached, and it's actually I think I've got the same deal going on on the other side with one of them too. But uh, uh, within there, there's uh, these spacers. Um, these sit within the holes. These metal spacers. And then each one of them has a bolt like this that goes through them. Uh, two in front, two in back. Uh, easiest way to do it is just uh, move your seat all the way back. Uh, it might be kind of hard to get at, but uh, you just want to un unbolt the front two, move your seat all the way forward, and then unbolt the back two, and that's it. The seat comes right out. Uh, I'll show you another thing too. I don't know how common this is, but uh, um, there's it's kind of like an old school uh, uh, lawn chair where it's got the straps weaved together and stuff underneath the uh, on, on the the bottom of the seat, and so the seats. Uh, well, I, I guess when I had got mine, the seat those all the, all those straps were snapped, so when you sat on the seat, it would just go squish down, sit on the floor. Sit on the floor, and that's fine. Um, it was still comfy or whatever, but uh, uh, that, uh, like on the driver's side, the exhaust runs right underneath the uh, the driver's seat, so butt tends to get a little hot after a long drive. So uh, what I did, I did this to both the seats because they're both kind of wrecked, but I'll flip them up and show you. Um, there's two guides that go on here too, and that's that's what the bolts go through. I've already I've taken them, those off and threw them in with the rest of my parts. And they're probably kind of buried since this was one of the first things I took off. So just leaving that for now. But you can see these. Uh, I kind of made my own mesh. I got a bag of uh, big long tie straps. Let me see. Uh, These uh, huge tie straps. I just bought a bag of them. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. Um, and I just kind of uh, made my own little uh, cross hatched seat bottom thing. Um, and you know, I, and then I just cut off the, uh, the extra stuff. So uh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter because you can't, it's not like you see this part of the, the seat that often, other than when you're doing videos to show people how you did stuff. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, I recommend it. It's, it's worked out great, the, the straps haven't broken, um, butt doesn't get as warm, so that's good. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's, that's pretty much the seats. Uh, uh, my, uh, my brother borrowed a Engine hoist um, from his, uh, his friend Jesse. So thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Tim. And pretty soon here, um, the engine's finally going to come out. Um, hopefully this weekend. Um, yeah, but that's about it. Um, any feedback or whatever, just uh, go ahead and email me at 
martysgarage at gmail.com. Uh, when I when I release new shows and stuff, uh, I post them on Twitter. So you can uh, it's just uh, twitter.com slash martysgarage and uh, let's see here. It's uh, available on iTunes and Zoom Marketplace. So tons of places to find. It. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess. Uh, See you next week. Thanks.